Welcome to Jackie's Craft Table. Hello everyone. Welcome to my YouTube channel and blog. Today is the big reveal for the Scrapping for Less Flavor of the Month card kit for December. And this one is all about Valentine's Day. It's called Sending Love. It's packed with some very beautiful products and I'm going to show you these before we get into our card projects. I'm working with the banana split level and it includes everything in the double dip sundae level plus another fun little goodie bag. So it comes with four different collections. Each collection has lots of fun products that are very well coordinated. They all include a stamp set and some beautiful pattern paper and a white envelope. And then after that, each collection has a lot of different fun little wild cards that you get. I'm going to show you these collections a little more detailed here in a minute. I'm just trying to organize them on my desk. One even comes with a fun stencil. And then I'm going to show you the banana split level goodie bag. And here it is. And it also comes with a stamp set and a die and other fun products to use. And it also comes with some heavyweight cardstock. You get two pieces of the smooth solar white. You'll get a chocolate, a blue raspberry, a wild cherry, snow cone, night shift blue, and pink lemonade. The colors vary each month, but they always coordinate really well with the pattern paper. So let's open up collection number one. This one is called Puppy Hugs and Kisses. I really had a lot of fun with this one. Let me pull out all of the pieces. First up is this darling stamp set from Scrapping for Less called Puppy Hugs and Kisses. You get some enamel dots by Gina Marie Designs. These pieces, these ephemera pieces, are from Doodlebug Designs. They're so cute. And here is your white envelope. And the pattern paper is also from Scrapping for Less, and it's called Puppy Hugs and Kisses. And it's double-sided, and it has a beautiful sheen to it. I just love their pattern paper. And you will also get an XO ribbon by Herbo Boutique. I don't have mine yet, but you will definitely get one in your kit. And so that's collection number one. Collection number two is called Would You Be Mine. It has this cute stamp set from Scrapping for Less with this little bird and this log. You get some love stickers, some wooden heart pieces. These are by Laura's Crafts. You get some heart enamel dots, memory designs. And the pattern paper is again from Scrapping for Less and it's double-sided. I really liked these patterns. I loved the black stripes and the distressed faux wood patterns. I had a hard time deciding which one to use to create the card from this kit. Collection three is called Friendship. This stamp is just beautiful and it's so unique. I had a lot of fun using this stamp set and I can see myself using it a lot. It's called Friends of the Heart. You also get some beautiful fabric flowers by Doris. You get some beautiful glossy enamel dots. The pattern paper is called Oh My Heart and it's from Scrapping for Less. I really love the navy blues and the pinks in these papers. These are all just gorgeous patterns and they give you enough that you can make up several cards with each collection. You also get an arrow stencil. Collection four is called Snail Mail. The stamp is by Sunny Studios, and it's called Snail Mail. These are some heart brads by Creative Expressions. They come in a few different colors. Here are some sprinkles enamel shapes by Doodlebug Designs and some more enamel dots by Gina Marie Designs. The pattern paper is called Happy Mail. And I'll show you both sides of these. So much fun. Perfect for Valentine's Day. The soft blues in these papers are a really fun addition to the pinks and the reds. It's kind of an untraditional Valentine's Day color, but I really like it. 
For the banana split level, you'll get this extra packet of goodies. This stamp set is called Sentiments of the Heart. The sequins are by Scrapping for Less. And then just look at this gorgeous die. It says love, and then it has a little heart at the end. And lastly, you get a whole sheet of foam squares by Scrapbook Adhesives. These came in handy. <laughs> Everybody needs these in their stash. Okay, now let's have some fun with these collections. I'm going to use the first collection as well as one of the December sketches. You can download these sketches over on their website. I'll have the links below. I'm going to stamp the larger of the two doggies from the stamp set onto a scrap piece of Nina Solar White cardstock. I'm kind of centering him in the middle of this paper because I am going to be cutting him out with a circle die. I want to make sure I give myself enough room to do this. I'm using some black dye ink to ink up my image. I have to ink it up several times, so that's where the Mini Misty comes into play. It helps me to align my image perfectly every time. Now, I haven't used my Copic markers for a long time, so I thought I'd better pull them out and show them a little love, make sure they're not dried up. I usually use my Arteza alcohol markers, but I really do love my Copics. So I'm going to be playing with these today to color in this image. And you'll see the colors I'm using at the top left. I leave out the caps in case you're interested. And I'm starting with my lightest color first and building up my darkness. And I'm using a flicking motion just to add a little bit of texture to his fur. I have all of my Copic markers swatched out onto a piece of Nina Solar White cardstock. And you can download the swatch list for free from the Copic markers website. My list is looking a bit shabby, but I do shove it in my purse <laughs> when I go out shopping for Copic markers. I pick up one or two now and then using a 40% discount code from Hobby Lobby or Michaels. My collection is growing rather slowly, <laughs> but it does help to have this list. And I use it a lot when I'm choosing colors. I'm using a faux stitched die to cut out my image. It's fun to play along with these sketches because I end up creating something I wouldn't have created on my own. I'm using some more of this Nina Solar White to stamp out the sentiment. And it says, Woof, you be mine. I just love it. <laughs> it's so cute. I'm going to use a die to cut this out. I recently purchased a set of sentiment strip dies. And they just make life easier because you get it straight each time. I would usually use my Fiskars paper trimmer to cut them out, but this is so much easier. Helps to have the right tools. I'm using a piece of the pink, can't remember what it's called, the pink uh, cardstock to put onto my card base. I'm using my bone folder to smooth out the edges. Sometimes they can pull up a bit when I cut out my papers with my paper trimmer. And now I'm just putting together my card using that sketch. I cut out some of the pattern paper off camera just to save time. And I just love this teal and red and pink together. The sentiment was looking a little plain, so I pulled out some washi tape. I have this narrow metallic washi tape that I use around my sentiment sometime. Adds a nice touch. And I'm just wrapping that around one end. And then I'm using a little bit of foam tape behind this, so it's the same height as my little doggy. The pink enamel dots will go up in the corner, as in the sketch, and that completes this card. I used more of the pattern paper on the inside. For card number two, I'm using the same image. I just love this little dog. And this is going to be a little bit more of a clean and simple card. So I'm going to stamp it onto a piece of Nina Solo White cardstock again. I'm going to let that dry because I did stamp it up so many times. But I'm going to be doing some ink blending around my little dog. So I'm cutting out a piece of Inka Dinka Do masking paper with this heart. And then I'm going to use the negative piece and put it around my dog. But first, some more Copic coloring. 
And I'm going to color him in very simply this time with some grays. These are the neutral tones. And I want him to have a lot of white in him, so I'm just putting a little bit of gray around for the shadows. And then when this card is complete, I come back in with a little bit more of the grays to add more shadows. It just looked a little unfinished. I was debating whether to do this as a one layer card and just color my image on my actual card base, but then I remembered that the Copic markers do bleed through. So I'm going to end up adhering this piece, this panel down onto my card base. And now for the negative space of the masking paper, I'm just putting that around my little dog and I also created a mask for him. And I'm going to use some Spun Sugar Distress Oxide ink and blend that around my little image. It doesn't look like I'm adding much ink around him, but once I pull off the masking paper, you can really see the pink Distress Oxide ink. First, I'm going to pull off the mask covering the dog. And now for the negative piece of the heart. I just love this technique. It's so fun to do. And I chose this red piece of patterned paper and I'm going to cut this down. This piece of patterned paper will go behind my main panel. And I'm cutting this out so the size is five and a half by four and a quarter. It will completely cover my card base. And I did remember to put it right side up. I'm putting my panel down flat. And I already stamped my sentiment up in the top right corner. And now to add a few enamel dots from this collection. That really adds a lot to this card. And this is where I decide to come back in with the same Copic markers and just add a little bit more coloring to my dog. And that completes card number two. If you get this kit, you'll be all set to go for Valentine's Day, getting some fun cards done early. I'm planning on sending out a lot this coming year. And now for collection two. I'm going to ink up this log with the cute flowers are surrounding it. And I'm just making sure I have it centered so that I can cut it out with this oval. I'm going to use another of the sketches. But first I'm going to ink it up as well as the little bird holding the piece of mail the envelope. And I'm going to use the same black dye ink for this. I always have to make sure to snug it up in the corner because it can pull up and shift when you open the door of your mini Misty. And for these images, I'm pulling out my Prismacolor pencils. And because they can obscure the lines, I remember to leave the images on the door of my Mini Misty so that I can stamp them again after. And here you see me stamping them again. It sure it helps to crisp them up. I colored the log in with some grays and a brown tone. And I really liked the cool tones of this. What I'm doing here is trying to match this beautiful pattern paper that you'll see here in a minute. I just loved the color scheme of this. The bird I'm going to fussy cut. And I'm going to do that off screen because I am really slow at this, but voila, there it is. <laughs> and here is this gorgeous piece of pattern paper that I used for my inspiration for my coloring. And as you can see on the left is the sketch that I'm using. I always seem to have to fuss a bit to get my paper straight onto my cards. I have a problem, but I usually get there in the end. So I'm just trying to recreate this sketch. And I'm putting a little piece of craft cardstock down. And then for my main image, I'm popping it up with some foam tape. 
And I wasn't sure if I liked that placement up at the top, but I decided just to go with it, just to copy the sketch. And then the little bird holding the envelope, I'm going to use these foam squares. And just put him up at the top. And then I forgot to stamp out my sentiment. I left it for last, unfortunately. But I end up stamping it with an acrylic block. And on the inside, I have to use some more patterned paper and one of the love stickers. And my sentiment just says love mail. I really love this pattern paper. I wish sometimes they had two of each color in these collections. But I could always buy more over at the shop. On my next card, I had to pull out this gorgeous stencil. I'm going to have some fun with paste on this card. I have a bottle of Gina K Glitz Glitter Gel, and I want it to be pink. So I'm adding some ink from one of my Distress reinkers. And I'm also using a piece of the Navy cardstock from this kit. And I was curious to see how this would stand out on this dark cardstock. And this is very gritty paste. And I'm just wiping off the excess, and then I immediately pull up the stencil and wash that off so it doesn't harden and dry up on my stencil. I'm setting that aside to dry. And in the meantime, I'm going to stamp out my main image from the stamp set called Friends of the Heart. It's just gorgeous. But I'm going to use two different inks to do this. I'm going to use some sticky note paper to mask off the heart. I want to stamp out the hands with just black dye ink. So I put the paper down to protect the heart. And I do this twice to get a nice dark impression. And look at these hands. They're just so beautifully drawn. Love them. And now I'm going to mask off the hands because I want to stamp out the heart with some pink Distress Oxide. This ink is called Picked Raspberry. And it looks so pretty on this craft cardstock. The Distress Oxide inks really stand out on different colors of cardstock. I colored in the hands off camera with some Prismacolor pencils, and I'm going to re ink them just to crisp up the lines. And then inside this heart, I'm going to stamp one of the sentiments. And it's beautiful because you have the delicately drawn hands. And then you have this thick heart. And then both of the sentiments have delicate lines to them. So it just adds a beautiful touch. And here is my finished panel. I used a die cut to cut this out. And this die cut is new from Simon Says Stamp. And I just loved it because you get these really thin frames included with the die. And I'm going to use some more of the picked raspberry to color my little frame. I'm using a piece of the navy cardstock as my card base and some of the pattern paper from this collection. And I just love the pink and the navy together. It's just fun. And then I'm going to adhere my main panel down flat onto my card. I'm using another card sketch for this one. And then I'm going to use some liquid adhesive to glue down my frame. I'm going to use a piece of scratch paper to do this, just so I don't mess up my work mat. And I kind of dab it down onto the paper to get some of the glue off, just so there's not too much oozing out from under the frame. Once I get my thin frame, in position, I'm going to add a few of the gold glossy dots. These are the pretty rose gold ones. Adds a bit of fun sparkle to it, and that is the sketch there on the right that I used. And of course, on the inside, I had to use some more of the scrap paper. And that completes this project. On my last card, I was going to use my arrow stenciled piece, but it was so gorgeous how it turned out that I wanted to use it on its own. So I'm going to use this love die. And I cut it out twice with this pink cardstock. 
just to add a little bit of thickness to it. It just cuts out beautifully. The negative pieces just pop out. I'm using some liquid adhesive to glue these together. I just love that heart on the end. I'm going to be using this die a lot, I can tell. And then if you don't want that heart on the end, you can easily just snip that off as well. But I liked it, so I'm going to put this onto my stenciled piece. I'm cutting it down so it's just a little bit smaller than an A2 sized card. And then I'm going to use this piece of paper that I die cut so I don't waste. I was very proud of myself here. <laughs> but I'm just going to adhere that down onto my card base. And then you'll only see just the very edge of it behind my stenciled panel. And then I'm just using liquid adhesive to adhere down this stenciled piece. As well as my sentiment. I'm just going to put that diagonally across my card. I thought I'd use liquid adhesive because I wasn't sure how well my dot liner would work on this stenciled panel. I'm using an acrylic block to hold that in place while it dries. And that finishes off this very fun and quick and easy card. I just love how this one turned out. On my next card, I'm using the last of the four sketches for December. And I'm going to use this cute stamp from Sunny Studios. And I also had to pull out the doggy from the first collection, the one holding the envelope, because they just fit perfectly together. I'm stamping them onto another piece of Nina Solar White, because I'm going to do some more Copic coloring. And I chose a different color combo for this dog. You'll see the colors there up in the right. This one turns out to be a little more pinkish, but I really like the results of this one. And it just makes for some fun and fast coloring. He has a cute little heart around one of his eyes, and I'm just coloring that in with pink, as well as the heart on the envelope. My mailbox is going to be gray. Sorry, my head gets in the shot there a few times, but I'm just trying to make it look metallic. So I'm putting some highlights and streaks on this mailbox. And then the envelopes, both of them, I'm just going to leave white and color in the heart pink and the flag red. And then the grass, I'm just, I'm not putting any other ground beneath it, but this grass. And then for my little dog, I'm going to add some grays beneath him. And that's all for my coloring. I'm using a lot of different papers on this card, as well as a red card base. Here I am struggling to put this on straight again. There we go. I'm using a piece of this pretty blue pattern paper up at the top. And then I cut out a scallop piece using more of the red card stock. I'm trying to follow this sketch as closely as I can. And then here is my sentiment strip. And I used a piece of the pink cardstock for that, and I already stamped my sentiment. I'm using another piece of pattern paper to mat my little dog and mailbox piece. I'm trimming it down just a little bit because it was covering my sentiment. I needed to make it just a little bit smaller. And then I did cut it out using one of the dies with the little narrow frames. I used a bright pink Copic marker to color in the frame. And then I popped it up with some more foam tape. I'm adding a few of the red enamel dots on the side. I'm using my pen knife just to move them about until they appear straight. And then I thought it needed a little something more, so I'm using one of the hearts from this little stamp set. And I misstamped the first one, but I come in with a Copic multi-liner here and fix that. 
Then I'm using the same pink Copic marker to color in the hearts, the same as the frame color. And that completes my last card. Thanks for joining me today. I hope these cards gave you some fun inspiration. And for even more crafty inspiration, check out the Scrapping for Less blog hop. I will have all of the links below and over on my blog. There you will also find pictures of all of these cards as well as a supply list. I hope you all have a wonderful day, my crafty friends. Bye.